a woman named Patricia Silva took a photo of a trans person in there as a guy pretending to be a gal, shaving his face. That was our first clue in the ladies' locker room where Patricia said a young girl who looked to be about 12 was present. She shared the Facebook, the photo on Facebook and made a video. We have just a little bit from what she posted in SOT 25. I came in Monday. There's a man in the women's locker room <laughs> shaving. A little girl sitting in the corner. She could have been 12 years old. I don't know how old she was. In a towel. Kind of freaked out that there's a man shaving in her locker room. Well, I was offended. I took a picture of him and I asked him, why are you there? You're a man with a penis. Why are you in the women's locker room? And he justified by saying, I'm queer LGB. And I said, you shouldn't be in the women's locker room. Well, Planet Fitness is defending the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis, rather than the child sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. Hmm. That is so disturbing, Emily. And now Planet Fitness, we'll get to it, but they're denying that it even happened. Uh, the libs of TikTok called them to see, you know, what the story was. And the employee said, nope, it's not, it's not Planet Fitness. It wasn't, and it, that's a lie. It was. So what do you make of it? I mean, it's just, this is how most people with common sense would react to exactly that situation. And what I find very interesting about this particular story is that it's such a um, a clear glimpse at what the stakes are and what the reality is, which is that, again, in Alaska, you know, this is not Williamsburg, this is Alaska. Uh, in Alaska, you have a potentially 12-year-old girl in a towel uh, in a locker room at a Planet Fitness, which, by the way, is a perfectly safe space for her. It should be a perfectly physically, psychologically safe space for a teenage girl who's trying to get healthy, but instead has to be nervous because there's a grown man shaving, potentially also in a towel. And that's, again, with this case study, the fact that the reality of it is so clear um, one, that woman is like the voice of the people. Like that is how average people are going to react to situations like this. It is going to be increasingly affiliated with the Democratic Party. Voters are going to have that right in their mind to return to James Carville's point. But also it just the reality is so much worse than uh, the defenders of these policies, including uh, it seems like Planet Fitness are willing to admit it's not just an occasional, um, you know, very kind and, and decent and gentle person, you know, nervously walking in, going in a stall, doing their business. It's, you know, men and women mingling together where potentially there are women who have uh, survived domestic abuse. There are teenagers. Uh, women are in really vulnerable positions and actual men with varying uh, motivations and, uh, you know, whatever they may be, varying motivations are in very, very close proximity to them in this very vulnerable position where there are no security cameras, security. Uh, this is the reality. So good for this woman. I have to say, you're right about all the vulnerable women. Um, we, we have a picture of the guy, uh, she, thanks to the, the one that Patricia Silva took. Look at him, look at him. It's an obvious man. He's not even trying to look like a woman. But I was gonna say, irrespective of vulnerability, I don't want this. I don't mm -hmm. wanna see him when I'm in there, taking off my clothes so I can go work out. I don't want him to see me. And I have no vulnerabilities, I really don't. So F this guy and F, Planet Fitness, which has revoked Patricia Silva's membership because she took a photo. She wasn't allowed. So her documentation of this abomination is the problem, not their policy allowing it in the first place. Eliana, who among us wants to walk in to work out and change our clothes or have our daughters do that at the age of 12 and have to look at some man shaving his whiskers? <laughs> um. Well, if it were me, I would be canceling my membership. And I have a feeling that um, to the extent Planet Fitness doesn't reverse course here and do a 180 really quick, it will go the way of Bud Light um, pretty quickly. Yes. Um, we're seeing there's a real market revolt against um, these kind of policies. Wait, wait, can I just tell uh, you that, uh, that uh, the, uh, their stock has reportedly dropped 400 million in five days from when this story broke? Which I think also means investors are aware of what Eliana is saying. Like they don't have faith in Planet Fitness to reverse course and they see a potential Bud Light situation on the horizon. 
and let's make them yeah. Bud Light. And Good. I hope we do. Go ahead, Aliana. I just think the, the average gym goer doesn't like this kind of thing. The market will respond and will uh, will solve for it um, to the extent the company doesn't. Uh, it, five days is already too long. Like it needs to be immediate. Mm-hmm. And they better fall on their sword and they better do it, do it immediately. Yeah. Get this guy out of there. There's a men's room for a reason. Debt. You can go to bed thinking about it and you can wake up thinking about it too. Here's the truth. The system traps you in debt. High interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. And insane inflation keeps you stuck paycheck to paycheck. Done with debt can be a lifeline for you. Done with debt has an ingenious new strategy to help erase your debt faster and easier than you ever thought possible. Done with debt analyzes all the debt options that you qualify for. They know how to reduce bills. They know how to cut interest rates. And their skilled staff of negotiators know how to get debt out of your life permanently without bankruptcy and without a loan. Done With Debt has experts who can share with you strategies for eliminating debt, but you need to hurry because some debt solutions are time sensitive. Here's how easy they make it. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt.com, donewithdebt.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.